Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, we're talking about the classic business book by Malcolm Gladwell called The Tipping Point, How Little Things Can Make a Big Difference. Check it out. Hey, hey, what's up? Welcome to Brands on Brands. I'm Brandon Berkmeyer, your personal branding coach. And today, we are taking a trek back into time to talk about a book called The Tipping Point, How Little Things Can Make a Big Difference. This was published back in January of 2002 by author Malcolm Gladwell, who has since gone on to write many books that have impacted culture, marketing, business, you name it. But this one I remember, especially because it was the year after I got out of college and I was working at ad agencies. And this book was one of the books that was catching fire at the time, the ad agencies were looking at to figure out how do we affect change in the way people look at, discover, and make decisions about the products and services that they purchase. And this is the book that everyone turned to. So obviously, a lot of exploration and learning to be found in this book. A little bit about Malcolm Gladwell. He's the author of now seven New York Times bestsellers, including The Tipping Point, but also Blink, also a great book. If you haven't read that, read that. Outliers, another great one. What the Dog Saw and David and Goliath, as well as Talking to Strangers and the Bomber Mafia. I haven't read all of these, but definitely those first three. He's also the co-founder of Pushkin Industries, an audio content company that produces the podcast Revisionist History. Definitely one of the best podcasts out there in terms of storytelling and making you think. Uh, And what he does in that show is he looks at the things that are overlooked and misunderstood. And let's dive into this book a little bit. So obviously this book's been out a long time. It's got about 5,000 ratings, four and a half stars. Uh, This is back before, you know, the people were given ratings on books. Uh, So this is, I'm sure over the last 10 years that people have gone and rebought this book. I bought this book in 07 and then bought it again, just because these lessons are that timeless. So Let's look at some of those lessons to give you some context and then give you a reason why why you should be interested in it. So the few things that this is really talking about is how things become epidemics or how things become viral, how things become spread over a large population when they start small. So he looks at actually the history of epidemics, of virology, of how things like sicknesses are spread in communities. And he applies them to bigger things because he thinks that also things like big ideas and even business can spread just like viruses do. So he looks at that and he comes up with these three rules. And the three rules he comes up with, uh, one is the law of the few, which is about people and you know, like the type of influencers that you need to spread a message. The second he comes up with is the stickiness factor, which is, you know, how strong your message is, how uh, much it grabs people to want to spread that message. And then the third rule is about context. And this is that certain environments make it easier for a message to spread faster. Now, when you start to apply that to your business, you know, really you could take these things and apply them in whatever way you want. But the law of the few, looking at the people really talks about, you know, there are a certain amount of people that instead of trying to get your message to one person at a time, getting your message to the people that have influence matters. You know, talking to someone that, is going to create change for 20 or 100 people is a better use of your time than focusing on the one person at a time. What I love about the stickiness factor is really figuring out, is there a better way to to spread your message to teach something? Is there something that's going to get people to really want to jump on board with you and spread your message with you? So all these lessons uh, are huge. And then context he dives into a little bit deeper over and over again, because your environment can change everything. You know, where you hear something can change how you feel. The way you're experiencing something can change how you feel. That's why people who speak on stages have such an impact versus something you'd hear on the radio, right? Because you being there in person and seeing someone bump up on a stage, share their emotion, gets that out there quicker. So that's the book for you this week. Hope you guys appreciate it. And as always, check out my bookshelf, brandsonbrands.com forward slash bookshelf. And I will catch you next time. Brands on Brands.